would you trust this guy? I don't know. I don't know, man. That watch looks like it costs more than I get in a year. A very nice old man stopped me uh, right after I was uh, I had finished buying a couple packs of smokes at the store there, right by my apartment. And I was walking across, and a, a nice old man stopped me. He noticed I had the cane and you know a little bit of difficulty walking. So he stopped me, and I figured, you know, out of the goodness and kindness of my big heart, you know, I decided, you know, I'd kill 45 minutes and talk to this guy. And of course, he gave me uh, this, right? So we all we all know what he is, and a couple of other uh, interesting things here. Uh, listen to God, yeah, and uh, this here is uh, really interesting. What does the Bible really teach us? And uh, inside, when you open the first page here, right at the uh, byline, this book is the property of, and you would write your name because it is the property of me. So, <laughs> oh, what a mistake. What he really wants to show me in this book was the uh, second page here. It shows uh, right here, the little girl in the wheelchair. Yeah, the uh, the lame will stand up and walk, you know, as if, you know, yeah, like I know I'm pretty lame. Uh, I'm not in a wheelchair, though. But, uh, yeah. He said, oh, there's lots of good stuff in here. And he, uh, he asked me if I, if, I, if I knew how to read, like, scripture, like, you know, with the, yeah, with the verses and stuff like that. And I said, yeah, I do, which I do, you know. I was, a, uh, I was an altar boy, so, yeah, I, I know all about it, but not for Jehovah's Witness. You know, I was brought up, uh, I was brought up Catholic. It was a good gig. It was a really good gig. We used to, uh, on Saturdays, we used to get together with the with the priest in uh, in the, the the hall beside the church, and uh, he would order pizza and pop and chips and you know good stuff like that. We were kids, and he would uh, he would bring up a whole bunch of uh, like the Cheech and Chong movies, you know that that were out at the time, you know, up in smoke and stuff like that. No, it was a good time. He was he was one of the uh, the finest men I've ever known. Um, but this here, when when uh, when the old man gave gave me this uh, just a few weeks ago, like I looked at this picture and I said, "Should you trust religion?" It says it right on the cover. With this guy, he's all decked out. It's probably a, a five thousand dollar suit, uh, probably a twenty thousand dollar watch. Like you, you could you could really tell there. That's probably a twenty thousand dollar watch. I don't know if it's a Rolex or anything, but it could be it could be any of those. You know. Uh, high price brand names there which is completely ridiculous C City Hall right behind me I mean, that's where uh, Mila Jovovich uh, fought Nemesis there right out front here and uh, she actually scaled this building by the front uh, that, that's this place here yes I'm in Raccoon City otherwise known as uh, Toronto uh, no it's it's cool anyway but uh, the the old man he uh, you know he asked for my name and stuff so I wrote it down in his little book and he couldn't remember my name. Like ten minutes later, he was asking what my, while he was walking away, uh, after after a whole ten minutes after our conversation, he was walking away and he asked my name again. And I told him, well, I wrote it down. Said, you know, it, it's in your book, right? And uh, so I did uh, go go through some of these uh, some of these books here, and uh, I haven't read the the entire Watchtower, but no, I, I don't know. The minute I looked at this, I, I thought, well, this would be interesting to, uh, to document because should you trust religion, the guys were on a $20,000 watch, you know, $5,000 suit most likely. Uh, yeah, like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand the whole, uh, these people on their religious kick. I am a fucking, just a devout atheist, you know, like. We could all be thankful for that. Oh, I've, I've been in arguments. I've been in arguments. Even in uh, Chronicles 1, I, I, sat at, uh, I sat at my favorite bench and said that, uh, you know, creative people made me see God and stuff. But it was totally uh, taken out of context. I, you know, I, I talked about that at great length. Uh, and she was, she was a cool girl. I think if you believe in this, if you believe in this stuff here, you really should go get checked uh, 
you know, to make sure you have good mental health. Like, honestly. Okay, I'm an atheist, but I've read, you know, I've read a lot of the stuff. I've read the, the ridiculous, uh, you know, the Mormon Bible, John Smith. We could, all, we could all admit he was a fucking whore, you know, and a charlatan and a snake oil salesman. Just like our fucking fat ass mayor. Like, wow. Like, this guy is a dinosaur. Everything he does is for his own buddies, you know, just, just for his rich friends, you know. Uh, he's completely against bicycles, completely against bicycles. His, his ideal city, this, this great city of Toronto, his ideal city is a city that is constantly blocked, you know, uh, in just vehicular traffic right and I have no problem with cars like cars certainly have their purpose but it's like this is not the way to get around downtown it, it really is not the way to get around downtown there are much better ways uh, the guy's a dinosaur and he's just like these people okay just like these people ultra conservatives uh, ultra conservatives backwards into the future every step of the way just the wrong decisions time and time again we're gonna make all the wrong decisions but it's gonna benefit just my rich friends right that's the conservative party of Canada right there okay I don't understand this is a city of millions this is Canada's biggest city and these people voted for a conservative mayor Take a look around. You walk down Young Street, you see sex shops, uh, all manner of just stuff. I mean, you know, sex shops, strip clubs, stuff like that. It's like the Wild West, all right? It's anything but conservative. Anything but conservative. I'm not saying I hate him because he's a fat, useless bastard. I'm saying I hate him because he's a fucking idiot and comes from a family that never had one good idea between all of them, all right? Now... To be fair, I'm not going to keep making jokes about how fat he is and stuff like that, but let's be honest. Rob Ford did have his last laugh some time ago in Stand By Me, you know, and uh, those poor people knew what it was like to be vomited on that day, I could tell you. Yeah, so let me tell you, the pictures, the video on this whole trip that you're going to see, very deceptive. Uh, there were arguments, there were fights, there were uh, things being fucking tossed all over the place. Very deceptive. I'm trying to give you a, a just a real nice version. Yeah, Lanny, everything you're doing there is wrong. I just I just want you to know this. Yeah. Uh, everything you're doing is wrong. Andre just wants you to know that. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Here, uh, hanging out with my two nephews, the young nephew Jaden and Bailey. And when I came into the house on Thursday, there, um, my brother-in-law picked me up at the bus station. I came in through the door, and uh, Jaden had made me a little sign there. Let's let's see that right now. That's Bailey there, right there. That's Jaden. Just uh, so everybody knows. There you go. Welcome, Andre. And I gotta tell you, buddy, there's one extra L in welcome. Welcome is one L. Yes. Yes. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's all right. So, how does it feel to have the best, most awesomest uncle ever? Um, it feels actually awesome. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see, I'm awesome. There you go. And uh, Jaden even made a, a character uh, of me on his uh, WWE 13 uh, video game. And it kind of looks like me, but the shirt has a Canadian flag, and right above it, it says, I'm awesome. So, there you go. Uh, just a little ego boost. So, it's cool, yes. I'm a, I'm a good uncle. I know I, I'm pretty fucking, uh, I'm pretty poor there, but... Uh, so I can't really afford like things like gifts. But well, um, you you afford that camera. How much did that cost? Well, I bought this uh, a couple of years ago, so. How much did it cost? About three hundred bucks. Yes. Well, you know how it is. You know how it is. Like I, you know, I I I, I can't buy a lot of stuff, but um, you know, I buy stuff that that sort of helps me. But me and Jaden, we actually took a little bike ride today. Like I don't have a bike here that I could use, but I used. Uh, my brother-in-law's bike and okay, he showed me. Okay, I see me. something. Yeah, sure. Brought Dubai.
my Earth Ranger. Earth Rangers, what's that? What is that? Tell us about it. Um, uh, it's about like you save animals. Like you sign up, you you can send stuff to them. And every time every time you donate, you get you get prizes. If you donate twenty five, then you get this. If you get donate fifty, you get this. So and if you if you donate a thousand, you get this. Well, that's pretty cool. But you need like a credit card. Right. Well, I have a credit card, but it doesn't. You know, I can't fucking uh, overextend. And I'm choosing the polar bears. Yes, polar bears are good. And we're back with the fight of the life. <laughs> no, hey, we were all getting along, and now it's like you know the shit has hit the fan. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Christ, people. All right, behave now. You okay. Know, yeah, like if I if I leave here and if I gotta come back in here, like there's gonna be trouble. Okay? <laughs> like there's gonna be trouble. Like you know. <laughs> yeah. This is dirty wrestling right here. <laughs> That's pretty dirty wrestling. Yes. So I've been here since Thursday. I got here about Thursday six thirty ish, and uh, did some filming. We uh, did the whole Newfoundland thing, retrospective thing. That was planned for a couple months, and uh, but fuck, man, I've been. You know, I've been sitting here for for days and went for my my fucking mother to, you know, like come get me and you know drive me around. Ah, today, come on now, this is this swearing's got to stop. Like, stop your swearing. Like, do you have to swear that much? Did, well, did did you see my last video? You should yes, make your. Yes, I did. Actually, I did. Why don't you? I, I would turn the camera and show my mother, but I can't. It's one of the rules. I can't show her on video, and she's telling me not to swear. But, uh, you know, you should just fucking get in the kitchen and make me a pie or something, you know? Oh, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> well, what kind of pie? <laughs> lemon meringue. Oh, lemon meringue pie. It's got to be lemon meringue. It's got to be. I've been Googling one of my favorite uh, little stories. It's like a mini story. Uh, a long time ago, when I was about, you know, 11, 12 years old, uh, my dad gave me a little book and it's full of little kind of weird little humorous stories and little very odd cute poems or, but funny and there was one where after I read it the first time I, I committed this fucking thing to memory and for the last couple of years I've, I've like almost once a month I, I look on Google and yeah I find the story on Google, but it's always like incorrect, and I think the, the the story is public domain because you know I'm very sure because I I think it's very old. I think it's public domain, but every time I see it, it's always weird because it always starts off, uh, you know, on a beautiful morning, blah blah blah, and it ruins the whole flow of it. I wish I still had the book that my dad gave me. I wish I still had it, but I don't need it because I did commit it to memory, and I will read the whole thing to you right now. This is the way that story should go. Here it is. It doesn't have that beautiful morning shit because you'll know. If I said that, it would ruin the whole flow of it. Here's the way it goes. Early in the morning, in the middle of the night, two dead boys got up to fight. Back to back, oh, so, I'm sorry. Back to back, they faced each other, drew their swords and killed each other. A deaf policeman heard the noise and came and killed the two dead boys. Now, the first time I read that was from the little book my, my dad had given me. I was like 11 or 12. I committed that to memory. But every time I see it now, I see it, it pops up. I, I Google it, it pops up. There's always uh, early on a beautiful morning in the middle of the night, you know, blah, blah, blah. It really ruined it. No, it's ruined. It, it shouldn't have that beautiful word in there. I don't know where that came from. Somebody probably just a fucking added it. I don't know. But it doesn't make sense. The way I read it, the way I, I recited it on here is the way it was in the book, and to me is the correct way. It sounds the best. That's my opinion, but I think it sounds cooler the way I just I just recited it. <laughs> So here we are at uh, Niagara Falls, and uh, this is our first day here, 
And uh, yeah, well, actually, we just just got here. Uh, well, we've been here for about 30 minutes, but uh, there was an incident. But uh, everything seems to be okay now. So, how do you feel about this, Bailey? It's pretty good. This? Yeah, yeah, it's recording. Yeah. Feel pretty good. Good, I guess. It's pretty impressive, eh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like I was reading uh, the other day, uh, a woman did it way back in like the 1920s or something that survived. Yeah, yeah, a couple of them, yeah. Yeah, a couple of them did it. It's fucking not. Thank God they came out with fucking television or something. Bored back then. Oh, yeah, really bored, man. I don't know, man. Go over this fucking thing. I'm looking at it, Natalie. It's a beautiful sight, but. Like, hey, I, I'm a thrill seeker too, but over this in a barrel, not a fucking chance. Okay? And, and I guess that's what they do. They go up the river and I guess, okay, well, let's kill ourselves yeah. and we won't know when we're going to go over. Yeah. Everything's all no, right. Not a chance in hell. Thank no. you. Like, that's the thing. If you get water at the bottom, not a big deal. I mean, what people don't realize how much it's rocks and gold and get washed out. Like here, this part here, you're not so bad. 180 feet. The yeah, river, right? Yeah. The river is 180 feet deep at the, at the base here. Yeah. The boat? Oh yeah, there's the boat. Oh yeah, that's where we're gonna go. Yeah, and see over there on the American side, Mom? You need a passport, but you can go down those stairs. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let me put my uh, my phone away there. All right, take my picture. That's impressive. Yeah, good view here. Okay. Holy shit. Alright Lanny, Lynn? Yes. We are standing approximately uh, you know 40 feet away from the scene, the famous, very famous scene in Superman 2. It happened right here. That little stupid kid fell off, Superman <laughs> saved the day, and uh, yeah, you know, so what do you think about that? Well, there's different views on it, right? Like, Piss me off, like you can't, you know, like no respect, you know what I mean? Like you make this guy change to save you. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just a little shit he finds in there. Probably an American, most likely. You know what I mean? But yeah. Canadians aren't suicidal like that, you know? You know, climbing up on railings and shit. Like, look at this shit. That's fucking dangerous, people, okay? It's like it's like my sister at the uh, Tough Mudder. Oh, are you serious? This looks dangerous. But it, that's because it is. You know, that's because it is. Yep. <laughs> I thought I was going to face plant that. Here we are at the uh, beginning of the uh, Whitewater Walk here.
Let's move him to the fucking quick, eh? Happened long, long time ago. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Holy <laughs> oh, that's amazing. You can feel it. It's amazing. So uh, we're getting some uh, fast food and uh, just got our bill. And uh, well, wow, ain't that a fast food bill if you've seen one? Eighty dollars and seventy cents. Eighty dollars and seventy cents. Must have something to do with the place. Must have. I want to go up there. Could you get a picture of me right there? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, that is the uh, Niagara River right there, and uh, so here I am, yeah, sitting, sitting down, and uh, it's morning, second, uh, it's the second official day here, and uh, no, yesterday was pretty good. I think uh, my digital camera is finally fucked though. It, um, 
because a while ago, like a year a year ago, I had dropped some maple syrup on my digital camera, and uh, when you turn it on, like the the, the lens, right, it, it doesn't open correctly. But uh, I think after the Maid of the Mist, uh, which I got some pretty amazing shots on there. Well, the camera opens, the the lens pops out. And uh, I, I could never, it, it, it's never in focus now, right? So I think, yeah, the camera's definitely fucked now. But uh, I did manage to take some good pics. But my GoPro held up like a fucking champ. Like I had that thing chest mounted the whole way. I didn't have the waterproof back on it either. It, it's okay. And, uh, but let me tell you, yeah, let me tell you. You know, when you, when you come to Niagara Falls in the summer and you do, you do all the, uh, all the attractions that'll that'll get you wet or whatever. Yeah, don't take those stupid fucking rain things, okay? Because it ruins the whole experience. Uh, like the May of the Mist, I wore it, but I tore that fucking thing right open because I had the camera mounted on my chest, like I said. So I didn't want to shoot through a through a blue, you know, garbage bag looking thing. So I, I just ripped it right open. And uh, no, but it, it was really cool. It was uh, that's the first time I've ever done it. You know, like when I come to these places, like I don't live too far away from Niagara Falls. I've been here twice before, but I was like a little kid. And uh, it was just a real quick in and out. The first time was Marine Land and, uh, you know, and the uh, second time we, we actually went across the border. Yeah, uh, but uh, this is the first time I actually, I actually got to walk around, you know, and uh, it's very cool. Uh, and like I said, first time I've ever been on the boat, which I thought was amazing. Like it, that, that made my whole year right there. Uh, like that is so. In, like you, you watch videos of it, you see pictures of it, like on on YouTube or whatever. And it, but it doesn't do it justice. You, you actually have to be, you actually have to be on that boat to see, because uh, you're actually so close to the falls. It's amazing. Like you, you could feel, you know, you could feel the power of it. Uh, really cool. Um, yeah, no, very cool stuff. Yeah, it's like that made my whole year. So what about you there, Lanny? Oh, hey. The oh, boat? Oh, the boat made the best. That was awesome. Oh, yeah, it was awesome. Like, awesome. For, just come right up to the falls, are just wide open, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just trying, like, full power, just staying still, you know what I mean? That's, like, and they're pretty much tugboats, which, if yeah. you're out in the ocean, you're really well. I've lived by the ocean my whole life, you know, I know the power of these tugboats and that's all unreal, you know what I mean, just to be able to just stand and still, you know what I mean, just... Oh yeah, no, like... Unreal. I mean, nature, for a first know? time, like for a first Too time close. being on it, it's amazing, like I, you know, like I would, I would, I would come here fucking once a year, like I'd take a bus once a year to, to just, just to come here and do that, right, because it, it's just amazing, like I, I really, I really liked it. Um, yeah, no, me and uh, me and Lanny though, of course, uh, like I, I'm wearing my Superman shirt here, and uh, of course that's not an accident. It's Fucker. not an accident, you know, that I'm wearing a Superman shirt. And I saw a couple of other people wearing Superman shirts too. I'm just walking. pissed off because I don't have a fucking Superman shirt. <laughs> yeah, right. But no, it's like some people get the joke, right? And plus, I got the fedora too, so it's very Clark Kent. And uh, when we did the uh, the Whitewater Walk and. Uh, because on the bus, we're on a little bus there, and uh, like Lanny's saying, well, I wonder where they did the lowest in the, the water thing. I said, oh, that's that would be the Whitewater Walk. I, yeah. you know? So both locations yeah. with, uh, you know. Nice. Yeah. And as soon as, soon as they got down there, I seen it. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is it. Yeah. yeah. You could see it, you know what I mean? Like, that's yeah. awesome. But of course, here you we're know? talking we're talking about the Superman 2, the original version, not not the Richard Donner cut, because mm -hmm. we all know that the Richard Donner cut is a little bit different. It doesn't have that, you know, that other thing in there. No, but really cool. The boat made the miss was fucking fantastic. Anybody who's never done it, you should you should yeah you should definitely definitely do it. Yeah. So in the morning, woke up and uh, I didn't sleep I didn't sleep very good. Uh, so I woke up and. Uh, you know, we left and uh, we just got there. We parked the car, and uh, oh dear! Just, just as as we got out of the van, like something happened. I was, um, I was setting up my GoPro on the on the chest mount. You know, just setting that up. There was a little table there, 
and then we started joking. My uh, my brother-in-law joked joked a bit about my mom, you know, sporting four fucking cameras on her, right, looking like a tourist. And of course, we all are tourists. Like even though, like I live, like I said, even though I live an hour and a half away from here, but it's like I've never been here when I was an adult. You know, I've never been here when I was an adult, so it was it was pretty important for me to, you know get as much video as I can probably too much for my purposes like for this would be Chronicles 3 uh, and of course get pictures and of course my sister's got a camera my mom they're taking pictures but anyway so we just got out of the van and uh, so I'm making jokes about that and then I said well you know shit like I got I got two I got two cameras but see me and my brother-in-law we have this uh, this kind of this way of joking where it's like banter back and forth right but sometimes something is mis misunderstood in a way because everybody knows me. I'm fucking cool as a fucking cucumber, okay? Everybody knows it. So we're, we're joking around and then he's holding a brand new cup of coffee, Tim Horton's coffee. And he fucking just flings that fucking thing like right across the lawn. Like it almost, it almost to the street, right? And uh, so he walks off crosses the street, goes to where the, the we go buses are, and then he's right by the, the guardrail there, right by the falls and stuff. And then so my sister, you know, they're, everybody's wondering what the fuck is going on, you know, the kids, the kids weren't happy. My sister comes back and that's it. Like she, no, she had it because it's like, apparently this happens a lot. But like, I'll explain it after, but no, my sister got so mad like she she said no fuck it I'm walking back to the van and and she took her backpack off and she flung that fucking thing so hard it almost cleared the guardrail okay almost cleared the guardrail it ended up right like flush with flush with the guardrail right so but you know like 2 feet more that that thing was going over the fucking falls okay she would have lost it forever um but no, the thing is, you know, sometimes you're, you're under stress. Like he, you know, he works a lot, and this is not the, this is not the first time this has happened where it was a, a misunderstanding with one of our jokes, right? But then he came back. Uh, Fifty minutes later, he came back, and all all of that seemed to be resolved. So it it was pretty good, you know, um, you know. So in, enjoyed the day, but um, like I I should say. No, I, 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 I'd be able to walk, get around this city, no problem. Like I, you know, I live in Toronto, so it's, it's not a problem for me. Um, I think like if I come back, I'll come back with just like one person or by myself, you know, because I, I could get around, I could get around this city, no problem. It, it's very easy. Um, but so far, so good. Like the, the, you know, the trip is okay. It's just it, it's really, it's really difficult. Uh, it's really difficult not being on my schedule, you know, because now I'm, I'm, I have to follow other people. It's like, and, and, you know, sorry, there's a bunch of bikes there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, like, I, you know, I got to follow a bunch of other people. So it's like, usually when I, when I go out, I'm, I'm walking, it, it's just me, right? I follow me, I go at my speed. Like, I, I'm pretty fucking slow. Like, I walk fairly slow. Um, and uh, like I, I was joking with my mom, like if I, if I had to give it the, our group a little grade, if I had to grade it on the ability to stay with as a group, you know, uh, we'd get a big fucking zero. Okay, it's just it, yeah. Um, no, it's pretty funny. No, no, I would do okay here by myself though. Seriously, yeah, no problem. I could not do the duty free shop. Couldn't do it. Oh, I was pissed. Because in order to shop at the duty-free shop, I would have to be crossing into the States, right? Which fucking sucks. So, Americans could come over and get, get all our shit, we're just giving it away, okay? But a Canadian, you can't shop there unless you're going into the States. So you get these wicked fucking deals, but you're, you're bringing in it, you have to bring it into the States. That's the way it works, like it's totally fucking messed up so what's gonna happen is well they everybody here has a passport except me 
So I'm going to get my sister and her, and her husband there to fucking go across the bridge for me and go to the duty-free shop in the States and get me some packs of smokes, right? Some fucking Marlboros. Uh, there you go. Just, you know, fuck, you use the system to my advantage a little bit, since I don't have a passport. All right, uh, so I'm in here in the little motel room here in Niagara Falls uh, with my two nephews. Again, Jaden, there's Bailey. Hey, <coughs> And the monkey, yes, that's right, okay. And uh, we had shot more stuff in the room, but the, 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 uh, the video got cut by like five minutes for, for some reason. So this is just like a little, just a recap of, of what we talked about in the room uh, over in, uh, in Sudbury. But here we are again. So, um, oh yeah, by the way, this kid here, Jaden, does a perfect impression of his grandmother. Not my mom, but uh, his, you know, his dad's mom. Okay, like he does a perfect impression. Yeah, so are you gonna do the impression for us? Yeah, okay, um, let's. Monkey, she, she wants to eat something, okay? She wants to eat something. Okay, um, I'm gonna get this off. Okay, he's gonna get all prepared. <laughs> yep. My heart could fail, man. Let's give you the cup. <laughs> we'll need to be the kid. I'll be myself. I'll be myself. Okay. Really? Can you eat something for me? I need to eat it. Uh, you want me to eat it? Or no, I need to eat it. No, no, no. I want you to eat it, but I can eat it. Um, okay. Um. No, not me. 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 All right, uh, that's spot on, <laughs> spot on. Like, uh, I haven't spent a lot of time with that woman, but that's exactly the way she, she behaves. Yeah, spot on, JJ, <laughs> spot on. Yeah, and uh, you might have noticed, uh, so uh, Bailey there just had his 15th birthday, so he's, uh, he's getting up there. And, uh, well, when he was five years old, he had a stroke, and he lost uh, the use of his left arm. But because of that, um, I think it was last year, right? Last year? Yeah. Yeah, last year he got to um, he got to meet uh, Rick Allen backstage at a uh, Def Leppard show in Montreal. And uh, so, very cool. Uh, Jaden got his little guitar signed, uh, you know, by Rick Allen. So, rock on, fuckers. But, yep. in the video, but that got cut out, but when I, when I shoot my guitar. Yeah, but, that like, I'm not supposed did. to swear. I Like, I just swore again there, but because I was told, you know, not to swear. But, yeah, anyway, I'm going to say it again. Rock on, fuckers. But, see, Jaden would probably say that's a nice way to swear, right? Would that be a nice way to swear? Yeah. There you go. So, there is a nice way to swear. So, quite excellent. Well, I'm going to answer a question. What's your favorite pie? My favorite pie is lemon meringue. Yeah. Really? Lemon meringue, yeah. And, uh... What's yours? Uh, pumpkin. Pumpkin is excellent pie. What about you? Uh, I don't really pie. No, every boy needs a favorite pie. Well, I don't know. Oh, come on. Well, like, see, the thing is, honestly, like, I'm, you know, I'm a 36-year-old man here, so, like, I can't, I can't sit here and tell these kids what my real favorite pie is. What is it? I, I'm not going to even say that. Like, I'm really, I'm not going to go there. Because, no, you're, no, you're nine years old, okay? He's almost old enough to, to hear language like that. Well, maybe not. Maybe you're never old enough, but he's almost old enough to hear things. And I'm sure he'll hear, you'll hear that in the future. But no, I'm not telling you what my real favorite pie is. But we'll, we'll stick to lemon meringue. Lemon meringue is a great answer. Yes. Comment below what the pie is. So, he wants you to comment and say what the pie is, but I'm going to tell you not to do that yet. Yes. Hello, Tweety. All right. Well, I think we're good here. So yeah. So we're still in Niagara Falls. We leave on Monday. So uh, had a pretty good, uh, pretty good trip so far. Uh, well, well, yeah. Sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Uh, a little bit touchy at, at some points. Right? Yeah. We could all agree. Yeah. Uh, but not bad. Uh, like I said earlier, uh, that made it a miss. Fucking kick ass. Really. Damn. See, I swore again. But whatever. Nice. In a, in a nice way. In a nice way. There you go. It's when you say it like it's just somebody. That's a mean way. Right. So, again, there is a nice way to swear.
Oh, this is nothing. Oh God, I'm in the sky. Oh God, oh God. Okay, now I have to stay up here for a little bit. Oh my God. Oh, relax. Like, listen, I'm trying to make a video woman, okay? Oh God, oh God. We're not even halfway up. So good. Oh, freak. Nice little T-Rex there. Very cool, very cool. Oh God. That is a kick-ass mini golf course. Like, right there, that is awesome stuff right there. Okay, let's close your eyes. Okay, we can see the falls now. American Falls right over here. Yeah, it's gorgeous, gorgeous. There's a drop down and it's higher than this, my man. Yeah, right there, there's the Horseshoe Falls, Canadian side, right over there. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, no, it's not beautiful. Oh, no, it's fucking gorgeous. Look at that. Skyline Tower there. Very good view of Niagara Falls here. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, I hope you, I'm hopefully we go up twice. I want to do this with Marathon. I want to do this twice. It's really relaxing actually. Very nice. Yep. We'll try another one. Three, two, one. Smile. Good. Yep. Alright. And there is Lenny standing at the fucking Superman spot. Right there. Right there. Man was here. What? Thirty-three years ago, at least. Thirty years ago. Christopher Reeve is and always will be Superman. Well, if I give you up, I got knocked down by all the kids that can never reach the center of this town. With all its intricacies, it's like a puzzle that's painted in buildings and streets. Help you, love you, and everybody wants you. A sweet little glance in the wrong direction. A little smile. And you kick up your Push the heels. boat out on this one. I'll float out on this one. And burn the city down.
Yeah, come to Niagara Falls, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Yeah, right. For the end of my video. Yeah. yeah. <laughs>